Installing PHP isn't too difficult, and we also do it with the apt-get command. So let's go ahead and use sudo apt-get, and again, we need to go ahead and choose the name of the software to install. In this case, it's PHP 5. Now, we also want to include the module that allow PHP to work with Apache, otherwise we're just installing PHP without any tie to our web server. We also want to go ahead and install mcrypt to provide the mcrypt library. This is optional but highly recommended as it will give you access to algorithms with functions like crypt and the password uh, hashing API which uses crypt for secure hashing. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do that. So it's lib apache to mod for module and php5 and we also we also go ahead and install php5 mcrypt so let's go ahead and run that oops so we use the install command here so that will go through and install we go ahead and hit yes for this question And now that that's done, let's go ahead and create a new file using the touch command. So let's touch index.php. Remember, we're still in the var www directory, so this will basically just create a new file, an empty new file. So we'll now go ahead and use nano to edit that. So we do sudo nano index.php, and I'm going to go ahead and start writing some PHP code. So now all we'll do is just go ahead and just echo out hello this works so what we'll do now is use the command and o or control and o and then we'll go ahead and use control and x to exit and let's head over to our browser and see what that looks like so i'm going to do forward slash index.php and you can see that we've used php code and we get the expected output so you've now installed php